Here's Rod McKenzie from the Road Haulage Association. Morning, Rod. Good morning, Andrew. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Okay, good to be talking to you. How are the haulage industry preparing for this? We have a lot of hauliers, particularly around East Berkshire, around Heathrow. What impact is all this going to have on them? Well, if you're an international haulier, it's going to have a very big impact on you. Uh, you'll be worried probably about three things. One is the uh, paperwork. Uh, we're going to go from a situation where we've had uh, no paperwork at all to do, if you're crossing into the EU, to having to do 250 million uh, forms uh, every year collectively, uh, which would require 50,000 customs agents uh, to fill them out, which, who, by the way, don't exist. So that's going to be a challenge, to put it mildly. Then the government IT systems, they they don't work, by the way, or we certainly don't know that they, if they work. And despite having four years to prepare, we're now down into the last few days with IT systems we don't yet trust uh, to work. And finally, the border infrastructure isn't ready. Uh, in the sense of all those big lorry parks that we saw being built. We don't know whether customs uh, agents are going to, the customs folk are going to sit to check the paperwork. It's pretty chaotic. Um, it's pretty depressing. Uh, business, not just haulage, but traders say they're not ready. Uh, how could they have been ready when the government didn't help them to get ready until literally the last minute? I mean, this, this is what's so weird for people listening who aren't across all the detail like you are. A lot of my listeners are thinking, we've had four and a half years to get ready for this. How can we be saying that we're not ready and it's three weeks away? Well, it's, it's, that's absolutely true. And I think it's generally a failure of government to understand the detail, the nitty gritty of how international trade works, despite presumably having large government departments to advise them. Because when we've told them about some of the things that need to be done, there is a sort of a bit of a stunned silence from, from government officials and indeed ministers. So um, it is baffling. Um, it's very worrying how ill-prepared uh, we are, and, and perhaps that was for political reasons, as you were saying earlier, Andrew, that they were kind of hoping that all would be well in the end. But the thing is, the di difference between a deal and a no deal is marginal. The only thing that's worse about a, a no deal is you get tariffs and quotas, which obviously adds even more to costs. But, you know, most of it will be the same, whether we get a deal or no deal. So there's really no excuse. Uh, Rod, thank you very much. That's Rod McKenzie from the Road Haulage Association.